Hi, YouTubers. Well, here we are in the middle, a little above the middle, and uh, just to show you the breeze, <laughs> I thought I'd fool around with the scarf a little bit. I, I don't normally wear scarves, so I really don't know what to do with them exactly. So, um, rather than giving you me, I'll give you the yard. So we're a little bit above the center. We're uh, probably like 300 feet in, and then the driveway we came up is all the way down there. Let's see how that looks on the camera. <laughs> that shakes it all up when I get in and out of the cart to look at the camera, right? Okay, so we're looking at the the driveway from 850 feet way down there, that juniper tree and that roof down there is the end of the lot, the, the tail end, the bottom. And then uh, coming around here we have the uh, the yard. We're on the uh, left-hand border over here, so we have the yard that's 150 feet all the way over to the uh, other border over there in the rough. You can see where it's all rough over there. That's uh, the other border. And uh, I call it my right-hand border. And uh, in between we have the greenhouse and the shade cloth house. Let's see if we're staying in the middle. Well, that's kind of like too much sky, huh? So let's bring you down a little bit. You don't need that much sky. You're certainly wiggling around on this. I should take you off of there. So, okay, shut your eyes a minute while I knock you topsy-turvy here and take you out of the sling. <laughs> okay. All right, you can open your eyes again. I, whoops, maybe not. Let's see if we got you leveled off right there, kind of. Like... Let's see how that looks. Yeah, not much sun, darn, not much light, but that ought to work for a little panning. Uh, let's see if I don't touch it, maybe it's better. And we'll take it all around a little further so you can see that in order to be a three acre ag agricultural lot and expect to do anything with it, you need a cinder pile which is what you see over there in the red, kind of red-brown looking. You need a cement, uh, not a cement pile, but a uh, sand pile. Uh, and then you also need a gravel pile. And so our cinder pile and our, I mean, our, our uh, gravel pile and our sand pile are up that direction right there. And then uh, you need water tanks, and there are, Behind those palms right there, there's two great big huge water tanks, like uh, swimming pools, only we just store water in them, it comes off the roof, uh, is filtered through, and then it runs down this side of the driveway uh, in, a, uh, in, a, in a pipe uh, all the way down to the end of the driveway. The neighbors came by, they live over in, uh, what is it, Oregon, I think, and the neighbors that live own this one right here, they live in Oregon, they said they might be over here in a couple of years, and I said, uh, well, we threw a few plants over there in your yard, and she says, great, keep throwing them there, we'll have a great border, so I was real glad that uh, that was cool with her, because, you know, she could have been all upset about it, but since her lot is like ours was, totally virgin. Nobody's even, maybe a few dope growers years ago, but nobody's walked on it in years, except the pigs maybe, the dogs and the geese, and there's wild geese and ducks and all of that sort of thing. And so we're back around to the road again. So, having thrilled you with that, one more time, my yard. Oh, that looks so crooked. You look like you're standing like that. Oh, well. Thank goodness this is amateur hour, huh? All right, so let's see what we got. Let's 
So, I guess, you know, it's time to say goodbye. So, let's see if you can see me in the goodbye. Yeah, okay, so, if I said goodbye like this, would that work? Hey, have a happy, healthy, hi, and that's just what I'm going to do. I think I'll hang out in the greenhouse and uh, have a hit. Have a hit.